Hello everybody and welcome back to Wondercraft. This isn't a Minecraft game, but it is part of Wondercraft. This is a little bit of a sneak peek of the technical aspects of what I like to do, where um, with the inclusion of the sniffer coming ever so closely, I was thinking about potential prehistoric mobs of my world. I talked about this a little bit in another episode, and so this is the Woolly Bee. It's not perfect. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to make its hair texture a little bit better, but this is the kind of idea I'm going for. Instead of the antenna, it's got one horn in the middle of the head. It's got more wings. These wings almost look like the elytra that I designed, which I kind of like. Maybe that's what the elytra looks like, or why the elytra is designed that way, to follow the woolly bee. But yeah, so we're going to have the woolly bee. They live in hives together. And yeah, I a lot of the... <laughs> the designs for some of the prehistoric mons have been thinking like oh what's like a prehistoric cow but like i think i want to try and go for what is a prehistoric mob in my world like what is a prehistoric bee well it's a bee that had hair and is fluffy and flies around i think that could be fun i want to make some wonderful strange beasts and this is one of them so hopefully you guys enjoy this episode of Wondercraft, and you guys had a good week. So, see you actually in Minecraft. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wondercraft, actually inside of Wondercraft. This time, we're, um, we're, <laughs> well, we're here, and we're gonna talk about the thing that we made already on the server, and this is what we're gonna talk about. It's Sushi. Uh, Sushi is the first ever giant monster I ever made in Minecraft. It is a giant squid in this hole. And yeah, it's the first big thing I ever built. It's the first really organic thing I've ever built. And it's it felt so big to me when I made this. And now we look at some of the things I've made. Even like Robo, which I think was the second thing I made. You just see the insane difference between all of them. Connected to Sushi um, is a hotel. Connected to Sushi is a hotel that, uh, in the hole, you go into the Sushi Hotel. The entrance is in our village, and it's kind of very, it's not very creative, but it was sort of just a thing I wanted to do, and something that I wanted that would have a bunch of villagers around, so it goes down, like, multiple floors. It has redstone lamps for the lights, and the, the you know, it's not the highest tier, at all but it, it's pretty good uh, at least i think if we could get villagers to actually live in here it would be a lot easier but a lot of the villagers that were originally in here just left i guess so we have one left somewhere in uh, somewhere in the depths and an iron golem trapped in a room but <laughs> other than that that's about it it's it's what set the tone for this world which is the world of giant monsters and uh, Sushi being one of the original of the giant monsters just it gives him sort of a status among it. At the time, I was not really accustomed to trying to build anything organic. And it was, and usually, I think when I can't build something organic, I tend to fall on the Minecraft style and make it blocky. So this is the, uh, yeah, so this is what it's like to. You know, it was it was quite the undertaking, and I, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tidbit. It's it's one of the more least information ones, but I don't want to... I didn't want to save him for too farther later in the future, because he would just... Uh, he would be less exciting, I think. You know? <laughs> I, I think if we were, like... If I showed... I showed you Iron Town. To, to get the biggest one out of the... Or one of the biggest ones out of the way. But if I showed you, like, some of the other builds we've made... And we're running out of builds soon. We're not going to be having these, I think. Uh, we haven't talked about that yet, though. Which will be good. But, like, if I did this... Like, the Beehive, Robo, Poppy... Like, all of my builds and save Sushi for last... I think it would be a little lackluster. So we, saw, we slop him in to a little bit of the third part. And, uh... Or in the fourth episode... It just some somewhere in the middle, but basically, what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna head over to my wither farm, my wither skeleton farm, and we're going to uh, grind some more bones because we're completely out of bones. 
and uh, I'll show you guys off my little wither farm. So I'll see you guys there in a second. So we're in the nether. I just wanted to share you guys my little tunnel all the way to the wither skeleton spawn. I fucked it. But, <laughs> but yeah, we have a little tunnel here. Um, this wither farm isn't the best. We're going to try and improve it slightly in this episode as well. Because uh, I don't know if this will fix it. But last time I uh, <laughs> we uh, we did this. I did this in the last episode, but I cut it out because we had such a long episode uh, that I didn't think this was necessary, and it was it didn't really f fulfill any sort of part in the, the episode, but I, I thought this would be a fun little bit to talk about. And, um... So, this is, this is the way to my wither farm. I've made it, but the way it's set up is that, like, when you go in and you go to leave, one, the way to leave is super dangerous, and then two, uh, blazes, like, spawn immensely in it, where it's like you're walking up this really crappily made staircase, and then also there's blazes, like, 15 blazes shooting you, so I think I messed up building it at some point, so we're gonna try and fix my mistake, and we're gonna, because this was a farm, a wither skeleton farm that did not use any sort of, uh, wither roses. But I want to put Wither Roses in it so that... Because I'm pretty sure Withers can still spawn on Wither Roses. I want to I wanna fill this with Wither Roses because I didn't have a lot when I made it. And try to make it so that the blazes don't spawn. So we're going we're gonna to head over. I've slabbed this whole area and we're in sort of a lava lake. So nothing should technically be spawning. But I think... Um, People still do. I don't know if I'll need this stuff here. I, I will play around with it. Um, mm, I don't trust myself there. You know what? Let's just take one of these real quick. Yeah. So we're going to work middle out because I feel like I'm going to also put on my chest plate just in case. I'm going to work. work uh, are these slabbed? How did I do? How do people do this? All right, let me check. Let me check some things, cause how does this even work normally? If this is, or can I not place it? Cause it's not a. You you have to place on like dirt or something. Hmm. Okay. Let me double check that. I think I or I think I found a place that has a bunch of blaze spawns there. I guess I didn't slab up that part of the fortress. Oh, there's a ghast over there. I don't want to deal with. I didn't slab this part up either. I think, uh, huh. So let me just quickly get you out of the way. The nether is always such a scary place. Oh, please. I also need to make sure I don't run out of rockets because I don't think I have any more in my inventory. Okay, so that's probably where a lot of the blazes are spawning. So we might need to slab that up at some point. But I've gotten soy, uh, the soul soil, because apparently you can't place uh, wither roses on anything other than like that. So I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the the uh, what is it called carpet there for a little bit just in case, and then. If it doesn't seem to be improving spawns as much, or if it doesn't seem to be preventing blazes for spawning or whatever, then we won't do it. I don't think I really understood what this build was about, to be honest, when I made it. Because I think we had... These things on the side are kill chambers for piglins, I think? But I don't know if blazes can just spawn in here anyways. Like, I don't know. I don't know why. Or the blazes are spawning in the lava. That's my only other thought. I don't know if that's possible. I really don't know much about the game I love. Probably maybe might need some more soul soil, but I'll hit you guys back when we're done. 
Okay. Okay. Things really do be spawning up here, huh? Okay, so that is more than enough proof for me to know that blazes do spawn up here. I think the killing chambers are meant for the blazes and piglins. But see, the thing is, is that one, the blazes go down that hole and then they die. Or no, they don't die. They There's no backing to that. So I think that's why I've been, I constantly get hit from that side with blazes. And that's what I think is happening. So we're going to try our best to clear this out real quick. I think that wither went down to where it belongs. And I also don't know if I have enough wither roses on hand for this build, so we'll start clearing them in and then I might go get some more, which is some like wither roses is something I always need at this point. They're a amazing source of black dye. And I definitely have enough wither heads because I already grinded here before last episode. So we have quite a bit of wither heads. This this farm is very good for wither heads. So, hopefully you guys enjoy the remodeling, and uh, see you guys in a bit. Um, oh, you're just going to leave them... Oh, no, he's okay. Well, you're going to leave your friend there. It's a little bit of a precarious situation you got your friend in. Uh, hey, how's it going? Nothing that I need. Okay, well, I'm going to continue living my life and uh i assume that guy's just gonna live there forever we should make a house for him we should build a little thing into the wall of our crater and just build a little house for this guy and i guess his friend because i'm still i'm unsure i think no he's gonna get broken off that lead yeah his lead's broken him and his brother will have a house here or something okay back to getting more stuff for the builds <gasps> Bop. okay so I actually wasn't going to um, record anything tonight for this part of the, the thing, but I was sitting by my Wither Skeleton farm, and I was grinding. I've been grinding for maybe three hours total today, probably a little bit less than that, but I've been doing this for at least an hour right now. And all of a sudden, my Wither Skeleton farm stopped work. Like, no Wither Skeletons were falling. It's like, that's weird. And so I, like, change my render distance, I change my stuff, I, like, go through a never portal, come back. And so I'm like, what the heck's going on? Are there just wither skeletons not spawning? No, as you can see, the wither skeletons are spawning. I'm sorry. Where is my piglin? How did... I'm so confused. Could the could they hit him now? Like what happened? I'm so confused. Where where did he go? And now I'm gonna have to go get another one somehow. Like I genuinely don't know what happened. It's been working for an hour. So And this has never happened before. I've had this forever. I The only thing I changed was the Wither Roses, which I don't think would have given them an extra jump towards it, right? Like, how did it do that? Like, what happened? I'm so mad right now. I'm so mad and annoyed. And there's a ghast over there, and if it shoots me, I'm going to cry. Like, what happened? Oh, I wish I was recording on the freaking replay mod so I could have saw what happened. Maybe I'll have to do that next time, but that's so weird. I, I, If anyone knows, if I just did something stupid, like seriously, I have no idea what I did wrong. Or what I did to make it so that he could die. It's literally, he's literally never died before. <sighs> okay, well... See you guys when whenever I record this again.
Yeah, baby. We got to back up again. <laughs> At least for now. It's back at full strength. I replaced it with an iron golem because I realized using a pigland is stupid when you could just make an iron golem. Who made this? Who made this original design that I followed to a T? <laughs> because I can't think for myself. Unbelievable. Well, I'm just happy that's working again, honestly. And hopefully I'm going to record a little bit just to see how it works and see if they can hit the iron golem. Because the iron golem might be able to just... The Iron Golem might be able to hit back, which might not work, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully this records properly, but sweet, guys. We're back at it. We're going to get some more bones. We got so much coal. This is honestly, just getting coal is so nice. It's just having an excess of coal is just knowing that you'll never run out. It, it just makes me feel really happy. So, well, have a good night, guys. I hope your week's going well. So this episode of Wondercraft is going to be a great example that sometimes in Minecraft, nothing goes right ever. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I am losing my mind. So, the wither farm broke. Now, my moss farm has broken. It has been working for the entirety of its existence. It decided, I was like, why am I getting like nothing anymore? It feels so weird. It's because for some reason, the lava and the water made two cobblestone blocks there. So I'm like, oh, I'll, I know, that's got to be an easy fix. I'll just break it. Okay, and now it's got, it removed the moss block in the middle, so I replaced that. And now I have to fucking place the damn piston upside down, but it's fucking impossible because Minecraft's dumb. Why? <laughs> like, why would I want to place it that direction? Oh my god, I'm losing it, man. I'm I'm like I'm so I'm so horrendously upset right now. All right, let's. I dig straight down. All right, that's fine. Oh man. Hope you guys are having a good week. Uh, <laughs> god damn, man, nothing's going right. I gotta replace the redstone up here. Uh, I'm gonna have to fix my wither farm again a little bit better. Because it's still a little bit broken. I'm going to have to try and optimize it. But let's see. Oh, okay. Hope you guys are having a good week. This is... God dang, man. Back to standing here for three hours. All right, I've um, grinded as much moss as I want, I guess, for now. and Or at least I can fill into like, my six shulker boxes that are somewhat full with other things. And I think we're going to get back to the not letting that creeper explode me. Uh, we did have... I need more arrows. Boop. But we're going to work on... The, I think I still need to now clean up this crap. But we're going to keep working on this. Last episode, we had quite a bit of a time lapse, didn't we? We had quite the bit of the time lapse. So we're going to... That's insane that I hit that. We're going to... um. We're going to do this time lapse again. We're going to do this time lapse again, but... We're going to do this time lapse again, but this time I'm not going to have it go for like the full 15 odd minutes or something I had it go for uh, of me building for a straight hour. I'll probably keep most of the time lapse in, but I think I'm going to try my best to cut in between and maybe chat with you guys a bit while we do it. So um, let's get to building, my friends.
I guess my first thing I can say here is uh, <laughs> that I think, you know, I try to look on the bright side of things as best as I can. And I think I can definitely say that sometimes things don't go as planned, but it's okay because I think inconveniences is what makes life interesting. Um, there was a study, if you guys didn't know about this, so I'll tell you about it. It's one of my favorite uh, studies. It's kind of screwed up, but it's interesting. Um, they took a bunch of mice, which people, or a lot of, I think is, su mice are supposedly very similar to human in, like, biology and maybe how our brains work. I'm not quite sure, but I always hear they always do comparisons to humans and mice. And one of the interesting things was they did this thing where, I can't remember what it's called. I feel like it's called the Nirvana test or something like that, but I could also be completely wrong. Um, but they had this thing where they got a group of mice and they basically gave them everything they, everything they ever wanted. They gave them um, food, they gave them shelter, they kept them safe, they kept them warm, they kept them at a, like they kept them perfectly happy. They did their best to keep to make it a mouse paradise basically. And the problem after a couple um, a couple generations, they started to realize that the mice started just attacking each other for no reason. And by the end of, like, how many so uh, generations of mice, all of the mice were dead. And I think it's this thing, it's the saying that if we, all we had, if all we needed to do in our lives was eat, sleep, and pro uh, procreate, we would start making problems for ourselves. Because as much as tough times happen, and they suck, and you don't want to have to deal with a bunch of stuff, and it's unfortunate that, that that things don't always go the right way. I think it's what keeps things interesting. It's what makes us remember the good times that we've had. And it, it keeps things interesting. That's why I like... Um, I'm not a huge fan of Enderman griefing, you know? But I, I actually really like uh, Creeper griefing in Minecraft. Just because, like, a Creeper blows up. Oh my god, that's super frustrating. But it's 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 something that you add... It adds something to the game that you now need to, like... Okay, I gotta go repair this now. Because, like, if nothing ever broke, and you never needed to fix anything, I think those things would become boring. They would just be there. They would never change. They would never improve. They would never need to be repaired. You'd never have sort of bonds with those builds and stuff. So, as much as it does suck to build something and have a creeper blow it up, I've had a creeper blow up my witch farm before. It was really, really unfun. But other than that, it's it's been good. So it's very unfortunate. I'm going to have to rebuild my wither farm, I think. Not completely, but I'm going to have to try and figure out a way because it's a shell of its former self at this point. Like, it, I got it working with the iron golem instead of a piglin, and I think I will keep the iron golem instead of the piglin. But right now it's been pretty... Uh, it doesn't produce as much as it used to, and it really, really sucks. So I'm going to try and make it better. Um, maybe get another piglin, but I'm gonna try with the iron golem and see if I can make it so the iron golem can't hit any of them and that they all run towards the iron golem. Yeah. The guy that did the tutorial that I watched, I won't name names, but I think his tutorial wasn't very good. <laughs> In hindsight, it's not very, it's not a very good tutorial. It was meant to be done without wither roses, which is probably why me building it with wizard, wither roses doesn't work as well. And I think I'm going to have to try and build a wall around it. Because if I use an iron golem, I think that will trigger uh, ghasts. And the ghasts will end up targeting the uh, end up targeting the iron golem. And I really don't need a ghast blowing up the entire thing. So I'm going to build uh, a little shelter around it. But yeah, it was very unfortunate. It was really sucky because I I was like, I'll just grind some bones and then go to bed. And then I spent a, I ended up spending like three more hours trying to fix it because it constantly kept breaking. I like put the iron golem in the thing and then I um, replaced or I, I put like this wood thing, wood slabs around it so it wouldn't be able to move. And then one of the slabs was misplaced. So a blaze spawned and the blaze targeted the iron golem burning the the slabs making letting the iron golem out and then the iron golem died 
at, from the Wither Roses, and I had to get another one. It was just such it was such a headache. And then today, it was really big headache. So, well, it's it, it will get through it. I really, really hope I can fix the Wither Farm though, because that's my favorite farm. I I love having a surplus of bones and coal. It's something you always need. So. Hopefully we can get that done. If not, uh, I well, we will. There's no way we won't. But yeah, I'll get back into the time lapse. If there's anything I want to chat with you guys about, I'll uh, unpause the time lapse and we'll chat for a little bit. Maybe not to bring the mood down of Wondercraft, but um, unfortunately, it, it, it's not something that necessarily personally affects me in my life, but unfortunately... Um, a member of a YouTube group that I watch has passed away, I assume due to, I believe, brain cancer, I think, um, which is something he was fighting for a while. If you guys uh, don't know who he is, his name was, uh, or he was called Thick44 on Neebs Gaming. He's someone that I watched for a bit. I won't ever claim to be the greatest fan and biggest fan and know everything about him because that's wrong. I that's a lie, but I, I did find him quite entertaining and funny, and it always sucks to hear when someone passes away, so I'm just watching their uh, little tribute video about him, and I think it's something that is really, it's, it's something that made me think about, because I've never really understood my family's, like, obsession with taking pictures and stuff till recently in my life where um in this in this little uh i keep saying little in this tribute video for thick they talk about how uh they're really just so thankful that they have decades of recordings with him so that they could always go back and hear his voice so they can always like remember the good times with him and i think that is somewhat of a reason why i made my youtube channel is because i like to revisit i'm a nostalgia i'm a nostalgia junkie i love to revisit good times that i've had and love to look back at things and i love to see where i was at the point in my life when i made those videos so i hope that you guys you know i'm probably not gonna it's probably not gonna make me any better of a person. I'm not gonna take any more pictures of my family because goddamn, I don't know what what it is with taking family photos. It makes me irate. I hate taking family photos. But if they want me to make a family let's play, like we'll do that. But I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope this didn't bring down the mood too much. But just know that uh, life is just such a beautiful thing that's so short. We don't have enough time. So. Use it on things you love. Make sure that you're happy. Spend time with the people you love. You know, make sure they're loved and they understand that because life is life's a good thing, man. It doesn't matter how crappy life can get sometimes because things will always get better. And that's something I truly believe. That's not just me blowing smoke up your ass. I truly believe that it doesn't matter how hard life gets, that, like, we're going to have ups and downs, and we need the bad to have the good, much like uh, losing my wither farm to, uh, bullshit. <laughs> I love how I can wrap such a, such a sad moment to Minecraft and myself. But, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully everything goes well for you guys and your families, and I hope that uh, this week was a good one you got a chance to do something that you loved and if you didn't get to do something you loved this week i hope that next week you're able to do what you love as well like i hope you get a chance to do what you enjoy because my goal in life at this point is to just be happy people keep telling me oh when are you gonna get like a real job instead of just working with with respite when are you get when are you gonna actually get a career you know when are, when are you going to stop working part-time and actually do something with your life, you know? I think to an extent I will have to at some point. Find some sort of more stable income. But my priorities in life is not 
to make as much money as possible. It's to be as happy as I can, and that does involve making money, I think, because to have money to be able to do things you enjoy is very important to me, I think. But honestly, I could lit. I, I tell people this, and I think people always think I'm either joking or insane when I say I could probably work in the most boring, mundane job as long as it doesn't make me want to like. It, as long as it doesn't make me go crazy, I would just work a month. I would work at Walmart for the rest of my life if it just meant that I had the time to come home and do the things I love. Honestly. And I think we need people to work at places like that. Like, I like Walmart. Do you guys like Walmart? We need people to work at Walmart. <laughs> you know? like Or, like, I say Walmart as an example. It could be any store. But I'm just like, people are like, oh, you... You want to work at, like, a retail job? It's like, do you not like retail? Like, I know it's shitty to work there sometimes, but, like, do you not, like, like don't you want a better job? Do you not, do you not think that's a necessity that you enjoy, that you would like to continue to have as, like, someone to maintain stores and things for you to do? I don't know. All I'm saying is, I hope you guys, hope you guys are happy, and uh, I hope that I get to become even more happy, because I'm pretty happy right now. I'm in a good place in my life. Don't let people bring you down either, you know? If you're in a good place in your life, as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, don't let other people bring you down and tell you that what you're doing is not enough. Because it's hard enough to do the thing, do anything anymore. Like, it's hard enough to be happy. It's hard enough to just be alive sometimes. And that's, it's a thing that we all got to fight for because, you know, living, uh, dying's easy, living's the hard part. So, but we only got one life. I don't know why this became so ridiculous of a set of a thing. I should just cut back to the fucking thing. Okay, we're gonna cut back to the time lapse.
Well, I think I've run out of moss for now. We are quite a bit more done, honestly. It's quite crazy. I'm thinking of maybe. We'll see how I feel. Getting maybe a dark green concrete or maybe even a dark green concrete powder of some kind and putting like a top layer above all of this as well like not a, of over all of the moss but like put it on top to tr sort of simulate like layered leaves maybe we'll see how i feel just because i think that as much as i really like how this looks i think maybe adding a little bit other colors i don't want to really add a pattern to it so like maybe just add a flat blanket on top almost not like straight flat but like you know what i mean just do exactly what we're doing here but with a different color of green i really like how he looks here his head's almost a little bit um uncanny because like I could see this being like a big lumpy creature and then it's just like Minecraft head. I kind of love him. I feel like his head's probably way too small. But also I don't feel that at all. Like if you've seen the sniffer in game, it, it kind of looks like this. Not like this, but like it, it kind of has this kind of same vibe. So I, every time I think like, oh, you know, like maybe I should try something else. I keep thinking to myself, like, no, I really like this, actually. I keep having to remind myself, actually, this is a lot of fun. So, I hope you guys are enjoying <clears throat> enjoying our sniffer here. The sniffer's coming soon. Also, I didn't get a chance to say this, but it happened during this week. They announced that they're going to add cherry blossom biomes. And I'm going, this is like a, a warning to everyone right now. <clears throat> if you're a fan of any tree in Minecraft, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to stop watching this series because all the trees are gonna be cherry blossoms, bro. Like, I'm so hyped. I am so excited for cherry blossoms, dude. Oh, that'll be so fun. That's honestly what we needed. A pink wood is what we needed. I'd like a gray wood next. I, I don't really know what kind of wood would be gray, but I would love like a gray type of wood. They should try to do a wood for every color in Minecraft with, like, wools and stuff. Like how they have the terracottas. Like, yellow, blue, green, lime green. I'd love a lime green wood. That'd be nice. But, yeah. I could farm some more uh, moss, but I think I'm actually going to go try fix my wither skeleton farm and see if I can do that. I'm going to try and make it more like my enderman farm. And we'll see how that goes, so. We'll see. Okay, so I sort of set the Wither Skeleton Farm up. I'll need more hoppers, but I actually, I don't know how well this will work. Oh, I need to stop recording that. I mean, I could have kept recording. I was actually going to see, record it, see how it's working, but it might be working better than I thought it would. I do need to fix the top part a bit to make it because i think the skeletons can get out of the little area there though they won't do it i think i'm gonna make walls around it so gasps won't blow it up potentially knock on wood that that doesn't happen in general and then i think so what i was noticing is that the skeletons don't always rush the uh iron golem when they're on the side so i think i'm gonna try and bring some wolves to the nether and put the wolves on the outsides of the wall because wolves scare skeletons and so they'll run towards the middle because they're scared if they're not targeted by the uh you know what this is actually not bad i'm actually really happy oh my gosh this is my favorite farm in the entire game i just need to get some more hoppers set up i need to make uh better areas i need to get more half slabs oh this is so nice i'm so happy this was actually something i was really upset about like genuinely like i know it's at the end of the day it's just a kid's game and stuff but i was really really upset that uh this is my favorite farm so i just need to get more hoppers and stuff but yeah that's so awesome oh yay <laughs> oh yes thank you game okay Oh, I'm so happy. Every time they fall down, it makes me so happy. Okay. That made my day, I think, honestly. Knowing that this is kind of working. Oh, my. Yes. Fall to your doom. Oh, 
That's so lovely. I hope you guys did something good today <laughs> that made you happy. I keep hearing gas everywhere because we're in a soul sand biome or a soul soil biome. So I got to do my best to... Uh, I'm going to get some cobblestone and try and block out the thing. But yeah, I hope you guys... I hope you guys are excited for more, because now we can get more bones. That's really what I use it for, bones and coal. Coal. Uh, do I have any more rockets? Rockets. Yes. Okay, I don't need these swords, which will be here forever now. Yay, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Probably not, because it's not yours, <laughs> and you're not allowed to use it. Ooh. Another week comes to an end for me, another week starts for you, and another perfect, no problems episode of Wondercraft where nothing goes wrong and everything is absolutely perfectly okay. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, last episode we got half, or uh, about a quarter of the sniffers back done, and this one we kind of got about halfway done the sniffer, which is pretty good. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We also fixed, I, I fully fixed my uh, Wither Skeleton farm. I didn't say that in the video already. I'm very happy with it, actually. I think it works a little bit better than when it used to, but I also think that might be copium. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm just happy that it's fixed again. And I've also fixed the moss farm, so I'll be grinding some moss. Uh, have a good rest of your week, guys. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.